All right, welcome back, everyone. I've been told the jury's reached a verdict. I have no idea what that verdict uh, will be. Uh, when I bring the jury in, a quick look at the uh, forms just to make sure that they have, in fact, been completed. Sometimes they'll miss one or forget to uh, sign it. And so I'm going to look at those, return those to our four person, <coughs> and deliver it to the court. Now, I want to prepare everybody. Uh, whenever you see receive a verdict like this, it's a, an emotional impact regardless of what the verdict is. Uh, everybody has worked really hard in this case. Uh, the lawyers have put their heart and soul into it. Uh, and uh, I've done my best to be fair uh, in this case. And I know the jury has done their best to weigh the evidence. And so we need to respect the jury. And it's going to be difficult, but I just need to prepare you that uh, when you hear it, uh, there can't be any uh, reactions. There are a large number of verdict forms that we have to read. So everybody needs to remain calm and quiet uh, and uh, uh, let the jury do their work and announce their findings. Uh, and there will be a time outside of the courtroom where folks can express their feelings, uh, but uh, in the courtroom we really can't do that. So I'll tell you that in advance, not thinking anybody's been improper, everybody's behaved themselves really well throughout the course of this trial. I just tell you that because um, through experience I know it's an impactful thing to receive a verdict. Uh, so just prepare yourself for that. All right, is the state ready to receive the verdict? Yes, sir. Ready to stand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Spear, I understand the jury has reached a verdict. Is that correct? That's correct. Has the jury reached a unanimous verdict into each count as to each defendant? Yes, sir. All right, if you please hand the book to the officer cover, let me take a quick look at that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the instructions from this booklet and leave the verdict forms in place. All right, Officer Cook, would you please return these verdict forms to Mr. Spare? The court does fine. They have all been completed and they've all been signed. And what we're going to do now, folks, Mr. Spare, I'm going to have you publish the jury's findings. We're going to start with Mr. Bassett. Mr. Bassett, if you please stand and face the jury. And Mr. Spare, if you please stand as well, sir. I'm going to have you turn to the first page of the verdict uh, form, starting with Mr. Bassett's and the first count. And I want you to read the sentence, we the jury, and then announce your findings. We the jury, on the defendant, Christopher Bassett, guilty of unlawful possession of a weapon. And what did the jury assess a fine? Uh, did the jury assess a fine in that count? No. Did the jury assess a fine in any counts? No, sir. Right. Count uh, two, sir. Two. Did the jury find the defendant, Mr. Bassett, guilty of unlawful possession of a weapon? If you would turn down to count three. And now announce your fine. Made the jury find the defendant Christopher Bassett guilty of first degree murder of Xavier Thompson. Count four. Made the jury find the defendant Christopher Bassett guilty of attempted first degree murder of Zach Duff. Count seven. Made the jury find the defendant Christopher Bassett guilty of attempted first degree murder of Faith Worth. Count eight. No, excuse me, count ten. Made the jury find the defendant guilty of uh, Christopher Bassett guilty of attempted first degree murder of Karen Crocker. Count 13. We the jury from the defendant Christopher Bassett guilty of attempt first degree murder of Xavier Holland. Xavier Holland. Count 16. We the jury from the defendant Christopher Bassett guilty of attempt first degree murder of Lewis McMahon. Count 19. We the jury from the defendant Christopher Bassett guilty of attempt first degree murder of Natasha Colbert. Count 22. We the jury from the defendant Christopher Bassett, guilty of attempted second degree murder of Jay Sean Cole. Count 25. We the jury from the defendant Christopher Bassett, guilty of attempted second degree murder of Jail Dowers. Count 5, regarding Mr. Bassett. We the jury from the defendant Christopher Bassett, guilty of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony attempted first degree murder of Zach Dowers. Count 8. Regarding Mr. Bassett. We the jury found the defendant Christopher Bassett guilty of employing a firearm during, uh, during a dangerous felony attempt to first-degree murder of Faith Court. Count 11. We the jury found the defendant Christopher Bassett guilty of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony attempt to first-degree murder of Karen Rutgers. Count 14. 
We, the jury, find the defendant, Christopher Bassett, guilty of the point of fire and a dangerous felony, attempted for a career of Xavier Moore. Count 17. We, the jury, find the defendant, Christopher Bassett, guilty of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony, attempted for a career murder of Lewis McNair. Count 20. We, the jury, find the defendant, Christopher Bassett, guilty of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony, attempted second degree murder of Latesha Cole. Count 23. We, the jury, find the defendant Christopher Bassett guilty of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony, attempted second degree murder of Jason Holt. Count 26. We, the jury, find the defendant Christopher Bassett guilty of employing a firearm uh, during a dangerous felony, attempted second degree murder of Jalen Powers. Thank you, sir. We can have a seat just a moment. Mr. Bass can have a seat as well. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, if that is your individual <laughs> verdict as to each and every count regarding Christopher Bassett, please signify by raising your right hand. All right, that's right. Plug the court sees all 12 hands. Now, Mr. Colbert, I'm going to ask if you please stand, sir. Mr. Spare, if you'd stand once again. We are going to now announce the findings as to Kipling Colbert. If you'd please begin with the third count. We, the jury, found the defendant Kipling Colbert guilty of facilitation of first degree murder of Xavier Dunn. The fourth count. We, the jury, found the defendant Kipling Colbert guilty of facilitation of attempted murder, of attempted first degree murder of Zach Thompson. Count seven. We, the jury, found the defendant Kipling Colbert guilty of facilitation of attempted first degree murder of Faith Gordon. Count ten. We, the jury, found the defendant Kipling Colbert guilty of facilitation of attempted first degree murder of Kara Rucker. Count thirteen. We the jury found the defendant Kipling Culver guilty of facilitation of attempted first degree murder of Xavier Malone. Count 16. We the jury found the defendant Kipling Culver guilty of facilitation of attempted first degree murder of Lewis McNair. Count 19. We the jury found the defendant Kipling Culver guilty of facilitation of attempted second degree murder of Latasha Culver. Count 22. We the jury found the defendant Kipling Culver guilty of facilitation of attempted second degree murder of Jayshon Culver. Count 25. We the jury found the defendant Kipling Culver guilty of facilitation of attempted second degree murder of Jayla Bowers. This count regarding Mr. Culver. We the jury found the defendant Kipling Culver guilty of facilitation of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony attempted first degree murder of Zach Dobson. Count 8. We the jury found the defendant Kipling Culver guilty of facilitation of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony, attempted first degree murder of Faith Gordon. Count 11. We the jury found the defendant Kipling Culver guilty of facilitation of employing fire, a firearm during a dangerous felony, attempted first degree murder of Kara Rucker. Count 14. We the jury found the defendant Kipling Culver guilty of facilitation of employing firearm during a dangerous felony, attempted first degree murder of Xavier Malone. Count 17. We, the jury, found the defendant, Kipling Colbert, guilty of facilitation of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony attempt at first degree murder of Lewis McNair. Count 20. We, the jury, found the defendant, Kipling Colbert, guilty of facilitation of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony attempt at second degree murder of Latasha Colbert. Count 23. We, the jury, found the defendant, Kipling Colbert, guilty of facilitation of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony. Attempted second degree murder of J. Sean Colbert. And count 26. Uh, we the jury found the defendant Kipling Colbert guilty of facilitation of employing a fire during a dangerous felony. Attempted second degree murder of Jayla Fowler. Uh, Thanks. So you can have a seat. Mr. Colbert can have a seat as well, too. Ladies and gentlemen, the jury, if that's your individual verdict regarding each count, as to Mr. Colbert, please stick a five out right hand. All right, let the record reflect the court sees all 12 hands. Now let's turn to Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams, if you please stand face the jury, as well as you, Mr. Spare, if you'd please announce your findings regarding Mr. Richard Williams and the third count. We the jury found the defendant Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of first degree murder of Davion Dubs. The fourth count. We the jury found the defendant Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of attempted first degree murder of Zach Dubs. The seventh count. We the jury found the defendant Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of attempted first degree murder of Faith Gordon. The tenth count. We the jury find uh, defendant Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of attempted first degree murder of Kara Rucker. Thirteenth count. We the jury find defendant Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of attempted first degree murder of Xavier Malone. Sixteenth count. 
Wait a jury found that Ted and Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of attempted first degree murder of Lois McNair. 19 count. Wait a jury found that Ted and Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of attempted second degree murder of Latesha Cole. 22nd count. Wait a jury found that Ted and Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of attempted second degree murder of Jay Sean Cole. 25th count. We the jury found the defendant Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of attempted second degree murder of Jay Wilson. And the fifth count regarding Sir Richard Williams. We the defendant find Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony <coughs> attempted first degree murder of Zach Dodds. The eighth count. <coughs> we the jury found the defendant Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony attempted first degree murder of Faith Gordon. Eleventh count. We the jury found the defendant Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony, attempted first degree murder of Kieran Brooks. 14th count. We the, the, the jury found the defendant Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony, attempted first degree murder of Xavier Malone. 17th count. We the jury found the defendant Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony, attempted first degree murder of Lewis McNair. 20th count. <clears throat> we the jury found the defendant Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony, <clears throat> attempted second degree murder of Natasha Colt. 23rd count. We the jury found the defendant Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony, attempted second degree murder of J. Sean Colt. 26th count. We the jury found the defendant Richard Williams guilty of facilitation of employing a firearm during a dangerous felony, attempted second degree murder of J. Ron Bell. Thanks, sir. You can have a seat, Mr. Williams. You can have a seat as well, too. Ladies and gentlemen, the jury, if that's your individual verdict regarding each count regarding Mr. Richard Williams, please signify by ready for any questions. Let the record flash before seat all 12 hands. Does any party wish any further polling of the jurors? No, Your Honor. All right, folks. Normally, that would conclude uh, your service to the court. However, there are some additional counts that need to be presented to you to make additional findings. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to take a, a short recess. I have some legal issues I need to address with the attorneys. When we come back, there's going to be some additional proof that we present to you and ask you to make additional findings regarding Mr. Bassett. So uh, this break will take about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, please uh, return to the verdict forms. Go with the officers. At this time, I'm suspending your deliberations. So do not discuss the case any further until I allow you to resume the deliberations. Please go with the officers. I'll see you in about 15 minutes. The court is going to exercise its role so 13 juror on the way to the evidence supports the uh, jury's finding as to each count regarding each defendant. Uh, there are some additional counts we need to address now with Mr. Bassett, uh, but first I need to uh, pick sentencing dates uh, in this matter, and we will, that will conclude Mr. Colbert and Mr. Williams day to day. So, folks, if we can get on our calendars together. We need to get pre-sentence investigation reports conducted. I would suggest February 1st is probably the earliest date that we realistically can get that done. That okay? Yeah. February 1st Thursday. I know we've got the three co-fit case set that week. I don't Friday would be better that week. Friday's okay, too. Yes, sir. Yes, That's fine. Ms. Lee. Second. Mr. Rose. All right, so we'll set these cases for sentencing on February 2nd. Ms. Lee, do you have any other issues at this point? No. All right, Mr. Colbert, the court's going to revoke your bond. I know you hadn't posted it, but it is revoked now. You will not be allowed to post bond. Uh, we'll take it back into custody. Mr. Rogers, any issues uh, regarding uh, Mr. Williams at this point? All right, Mr. Williams, your bond is revoked as well, too. Uh, we will continue your case on February 2nd, have a pre-sentence investigation report done. So, Mr. Colbert and Mr. Williams are excused at this time. All right, uh, folks, we now need to turn to the remaining counts. Mr. Bassett's case, employing a firearm during a dangerous felony with a prior conviction. I want to address uh, one thing uh, to begin with. The state's indictment lists two uh, 
predicate prior felonies to which they believe that uh, should Previously held that under that statute, uh, 39, 17, 13, 24, that not all felonies count. Uh, I was recently affirmed on that in a statement by Joshua Bowen. Uh, and so I am going to strike the vandalism charge from the indictment. Uh, the felony drug case is considered a dangerous felony under the statute. So, Joe, at this point, uh, uh, you need to resign the presentation presented. I'll read the vandalism. We'll bring the jury back in. We will publish those remaining counts and the plea, and then it's just a mini trial. Each side can make an opening statement if you'd like. Present whatever proof you have. Um, I don't know if you can call Ms. Ogle or who for judgment. Okay, so out of uh, county prior, I've got a certified copy, um, and I do have um, Ms. Mooneyham here, TDOC. You can testify okay, about the same number. Okay. All right. Uh, so. Are you ready for that, Joe? Mm -hmm. Ready for that? I am. All right.